Hello, we have Ignacio Visco, the governor of the Bank of Italy with us today. Uh, Mr. Visco, the, all of the attention this year will be on the asset quality review in Europe, in particular attention probably to the Italian banks. Do you think that that process will uncover any new or different problems, particularly in the mid-tier banks in Italy, which is such a big, important part of the economy? Well, first of all, it is not only an asset quality review, but it's a comprehensive balance sheet assessment which, of which the asset quality review is an important component. Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously, it has to be transparent, it has to be rigorous. We have done a lot already, not to prepare banks because it was coincidental, but really to look after the quality of the bank's assets, given that Italy has had a long spell of recession and deterioration of uh, the, the assets that banks have typically, that is loans, the quality of loans. I, I think that uh, banks have been responding, there is a lot of provisioning which has been raised as uh, uh, MPLs have been increasing. Uh, and at the same time, I think that uh, uh, capital ratios have increased uh, substantially across the board, I'd say. So we'll see. Uh, it has, I don't think that it will have dramatic effects. You asked about middle range banks. Uh, obviously, those banks have also been very much uh, investigated by us in the field, not only from the headquarters. Uh, there are recommendations that we have put to some banks, raising capital uh, and uh, changing governance and so on. And uh, I think that a uh, good comprehensive assessment will have to deal with that and uh, there might be things to be done because of that but there is no systemic risk coming from that side. And you have put a number, I think about a dozen of these mid-tier banks under special administration? Yes, we have put, yes, but this are not on, a uh, um, number of them are not in the comprehensive assessment right, exercise. Right. They are really small, many of them are small. Uh, the medium uh, size is uh, really uh, put at 30 billion assets. Okay that is not in these banks. No, there is no, we cannot exclude that at a certain point there might be uh, something of the sort also for some other banks. But my impression is that this is for the good, not for the bad. Okay. It helps them sorting out problems. Not many, I think. This is a standard process. How soon could we have? There are inspections ongoing. Are there, could there be more, more news on that in well, the course of the spring? Are going there. there will be more inspections going on the 15 banks that are part of the exercise. Yep. And then there are standard uh, uh, examinations, inspections on going on in the other banks. We have also asked for uh, to consider some aggregation. Mm -hmm. I think the response. Uh, is clearly to dispose of the assets that you don't need. Another is to raise capital in the market. The third is to reduce costs mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that can be reduced. And the fourth is really to aggregate with others, uh, provided that this is uh, improving the governance mm -hmm. and not uh, uh, adding one problem to another problem. In fact, I mean, the uh, many people expect the, uh, the asset quality review to produce or to encourage a consolidation of the Italian banks. And the question of whether foreign banks could come or not, some people is say as soon as the second half of this year. What do you see, and do you, are, what do your opinion about foreign banks coming in and taking over well, Italian banks? First of all, uh, I mean, many people, I don't know, but uh, it is uh, uh, not a system that really needs a complete overall. Okay. Uh, secondly, we have two large banks, other three, three more important banks. There is Monte de Pasqua, which is getting out of a critical condition, which is really not much to do with the quality of the assets, so it had to, uh, the loans. It had to do with uh, problems in the way they, the balance sheets were treated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the uh, important thing is this is an open market. We have an approach which maintains this openness, provided that this uh, as an outcome which is favorable to the stability and the safe uh, conduct of the banking business. Including foreigners? Including foreigners. I mean, if there are opportunities, there has been fragmentation up to now. We have seen these exercises, an exercise in uh, in having more union in Europe, not less union. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, at the same time, uh, as banks uh, come, there are banks that can go. I mean, this is, mm -hmm. So I, I don't see a particular problem on that side. 
Uh, obviously, we also have to understand that uh, one issue is control of a bank by the bank, another is participation in the bank capital of institutional investors that are located uh, in, in various countries. So we'll see. I'm, I'm, I'm not worried about it. And then uh, some people think because of how strong the, the rough, strong rise in non-performing loans in Italy with the economy and such a long protracted situation that you could end uh, you could that you know, a bad bank would be a good idea and that could help loosen up the lending and improve things in, uh, in with the economic situation. What do you think of, uh, of that idea? Well, first of all, I think that uh, you're, right, you're right. The MPL uh, uh, stock of MPL is has increased and it has. Uh, an effect of reducing uh, the ab ability of banks really to look at uh, possible new new deals uh, uh, other, with other customers and so on. So the market for uh, disposing of NPLs mm -hmm. is important. Mm -hmm. It is not working much. Okay. And exactly. the reason is because demand and supply have different yeah. prices. Now I think with this uh, comprehensive assessment with other improvements that banks have had on how to treat losses from a tax point of view, this uh, will help. It will accelerate, this process will accelerate. will accelerate the process. At the same time, uh, there are proposals of uh, having uh, uh, a more systemic mm -hmm. solution. Uh, I think these proposals have to be studied with care and uh, we are certainly you doing don't exclude it, it then so we, we are doing that you don't exclude it well it, it, it depends how you it's construct the yeah. exercise okay. because that is uh, obviously you don't exclude. if things have a good possibility of being successful you have Why to not? go after that great thank you very much we appreciate your time